Hey everybody, we're out here getting ready for everybody's, well not everybody's, but a lot of people's most fun time of the day, recess. And the thing about recess is it can be such a fun time for all of you kids to come out here, relax, enjoy some out time, get some energy out. But the thing is, if you don't follow the warrior way, if you're not being respectful of others, if you're not being responsible and you're not being safe, then recess is not a fun time for everyone. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about some rules here on the playground that you need to follow in order to follow the warrior way. First, I want to take a look at this. We have uh, um, some new grass that was planted this summer. And I don't know if any of you have ever planted new grass in your yard, but when they, they do that, we can't walk on it for it to grow. So we need to stay outside of these yellow um, ropes. That's kind of our first rule that everyone, that should be a really easy rule to follow. When you come out to recess, fifth grade, you're going to come out through those basement doors, come out and around the hill, up the hill, and into the recess area. Fourth grade, you'll come out the doors closest to you, down from the lunch, come out those doors. And third grade, you'll come out the doors closest to your hallway. When it's time to go back in, you'll hear the whistle. When you hear the whistle, you need to pick up all your equipment and you need to get here quickly and line up and be ready to go in those doors. Everybody will go in through the fourth grade doors, straight down the hallway, and line up for lunch. Okay? You can't dawdle. You need to get moving. So when the recess supervisor blows their whistle, you need to start heading this direction and get lined up. When you line up for lunch, don't forget once you go back inside, I know you get a lot of fun and you it's put work up a lot of energy out here, but once you get back in there, there's classes in session, so you really need to do a good job to be quiet once you go back into the building. Let's just talk a little bit about a couple rules here at recess. We're going to do a lot of fun games. You, you know, you can, you can play tag here at Lakewood. We have no problem. But one thing we're going to say is if you're playing tag and you're consistently pushing people down, that's not being very safe. It's not being respectful of your classmates as well. So make sure that you understand a tag would just be when you're going to tag somebody and, and it's not going to knock them over. With that also, we don't want anybody up on top of the bars. We've had a lot of injuries over the years where people have fallen. Is it okay to be on the monkey bars? Yeah, we'd love for you to be on the monkey bars and using the equipment appropriately. But we don't want you hanging upside down or being on top of the monkey bars, going up the slides instead of down the slides. Okay, you are all smart enough and old enough to know what the rules are for the equipment. So please follow those appropriately. Probably not real smart to be playing tag and running around on the equipment. There's lots of space for you to play tag out away from everybody. There's lots of space for you to play soccer or football. One of the important things is to be mindful of the other people around you. Okay, there's going to be a lot of kids out here, but there should be more than enough space. We've got two places of equipment. I think we're adding one sometime this year to be over on the other side. We've got a big field, a big basketball court. Shouldn't be any problem for you to find some space with your friends. But be mindful and respectful of everybody else around here too. One thing I wanted to talk about, Mr. Collins, is we have a couple spinner things. And those spinner things are really fun, but there should only be one person on the spinner at a time. And if you want to have somebody push you, I'm all right with that, but no more than two pushes. You don't, anything else is, it just gets dangerous, and that's not being safe either. You know we have a basketball court. We also have a um, beautiful football, soccer field, whatever you want to play out there. One thing, if you're going to play competitive games, team games, football, kickball, basketball, whatever it is, this is recreational time. If you want to be in competitive sports, you should probably sign up for activities after school. These 20 minutes are not for, um, you know, tough, hard-nosed sports. They're for recreation. If you're playing knockout, we have no problem, but it's never-ending knockout. Never ending knockout means if you get knocked out, you can just go right back to the end of the line. And it's kind of fun. You can still keep track. But it's recreation. It's not for comp uh, competitive nature. Same thing if you're out on the football field. Hopefully you can have fun, have a good game, a two-hand touch. But if you're getting in arguments about all the rules and, and, and can't get along with each other, that or kickball, then we'll probably say that we'll have to take those games away because that's not what we're looking for. We just want to see recreation, people working off some energy and having fun out here. With that being said, you know, you need to be very careful when playing those games too. A lot of the problems that we have coming in from recess is people putting their hands on each other, playing tackle football, 
you know, getting a little too frustrated with things, it's just recess. It's just for fun. Try not to take that stuff so seriously. Recess is a privilege. It can be taken away. Those games can be taken away. We've had times where we've gone without basketball or without mm -hmm. kickball or soccer. Okay? So try to play appropriately, listen to each other, and follow the rules the best that you know how. So, oh, I guess one more thing I want to talk about. You need to stay within the fence. Okay? We need to be able to see you at all times here. Okay, so not going down underneath the, uh, the hill or getting too close to the fence and not touching anything on the other side of the fence. That's there for your protection. Okay, so if there are dogs on the other side of the fence or different animals, you don't try to go over and pet them or touch them or throw things into other people's yards. We stay in this yard. Make sure you use recess to have fun. We'll have recess teachers out here, me and Mr. Collins, Mrs. Jensen, Mrs. Anderson will be out here on different days. When a recess teacher tells you that something you're doing isn't right, make sure you're being respectful. Okay? If they tell you to stop, normally most of the recess teachers are going to give you a chance to stop whatever you're doing unless it's really dangerous. If they say stop, just stop, move on to the next thing and go have fun someday, somewhere else. Yeah. If they ask you to do it, you should do it. So let's go through and see if we're meeting respect, responsibility, and safety. We've right. met everything. Respect adults, peers, and the equipment outside. That's one thing we didn't talk about is equipment. We have some basketballs and kickballs, jump rope, things for you all to use outside the fourth grade doors. Respect that equipment. If you're going to bring it out and use it, use it correctly, share it, but then make sure that you bring it back in and put it away in the bins when you go inside. Include everyone in your recess games. We don't say who can and can't be involved. If somebody wants to join your group, you let them join and be a part of it until they show they can't handle it. And then you let the recess supervisor handle that. Be aware of the space that others are playing with, okay? You, you need to be aware of the people around you, and don't take up too much space for your games. Be aware of everybody else. Use polite language and respectful voices, okay? Use language that's appropriate for third, fourth, and fifth graders. That's all I'll, I will tell you, okay? Especially when we're involved in these games. We need good sportsmanship, and we treat each other with that respect. Moving on to responsibility. Line up immediately when the whistle is blown, um, you can't go back inside after you have come out, so make sure that you bring everything out with you, whether it's a football, whether it's a coat, hat, mittens, bring it out with you the first time. Go to the restroom before you come out. Get everything finished in there because recess supervisors will not let you go back in because it's a liability issue. We need to see and know where you are at all times. Take care of the equipment and put it back when you need to. Be prepared with the appropriate clothing, so listen to your mom and dad at home. Listen to your adult, the adults in your house. Listen to your teachers. When they say, hey, bring hat, gloves, and mittens tomorrow, because it's going to be cold, do that. Okay? we got to keep you safe. And so make sure that you're wearing the appropriate clothing. Also make sure that all inside responsibilities are taken care of before you come out to recess. Finish the assignment you're working on. Put your materials away. Clean up around your desk. Say goodbye to your teacher. And then you can come out to recess. I think for safety, what we're looking at, the biggest thing is you've got to keep your hands, feet, and your body to yourself. Okay? Quick touch for a tag, okay? a push to help somebody out, but the minute it goes further than that, then we have problems. So keep your hands and feet to yourself. Follow the equipment rules, some of which we've talked about with the slide and the monkey bars. And then what is on the ground should stay on the ground. Sometimes we have kids bringing in insects and pebbles and, and dirt and even small animals sometimes inside. Those need to stay out here in nature, okay? We, we're not equipped to handle that inside the school building. Plus, it takes your attention away from things. So just leave them be out here. If there's something you see that you're not used to, come tell the recess supervisor, and they will take care of it for you. And remember, an adult should be able to see you at all times here. Okay? We will have two or three people out here at all times, okay? And they, you should be in their visual, visual uh, field so that they can see you. You think we've covered everything, Mr. Larson? You know what? Recess should be a really fun part of the day. Make sure that you do your best to use your brain to be respectful, responsible, and safe so that not just you but everybody else around you can have a great recess.